Our land, our ocean, our culture are the most precious assets of our people. And to keep them safe from harm, no matter what happens in the physical world, will move them to the cloud. Islands like this one won't survive rapid temperature increases, rising sea levels and droughts, so we'll recreate them virtually. Piece by piece, we'll preserve our country, provide solace to our people, and remind our children and our grandchildren what our home once was. Only concerted global effort can ensure that Tuvalu does not move permanently online and disappear forever from the physical plane. Since March of this year, World Water Day, I've been running marathons all over the world in some of the most extreme places on the planet. It's part of our campaign called Run Blue. This is a pivotal moment in time for us to drive meaningful action and meaningful commitments on water. Commitments from companies, from governments and from individuals right across the world. I've had an opportunity to meet thousands of people, farmers, 
and business owners. I've met women and girls who have been struggling every day to go and get access to clean drinking water. They've been walking for literally hours each day to find water. I've run through the deserts of plains of Konya in Turkey where dramatic over withdrawals of groundwater have led to the entire surface of the ground falling down meters into the ground and these huge sinkholes are opening up. Water is the place we're going to feel the climate crisis first, whether it's through droughts, through floods, through more hot water or through more dirty water coming into our systems. All of these things contribute to a massive impact on our lives, our communities, our economies, our societies and our supply chains. We have a huge opportunity for all of us to innovate to innovate to find new solutions, whether it's solutions in behaviour change, thinking about things differently, doing things differently, saying I'm not going to water at midday in the midday sun, I'm going to water first thing in the morning or last thing at night to reduce my evaporation loss, whether it's saying I'm going to invest in new technology, in robots, in technology, in sensors, in data management, all of these things are ways that we can find solutions to this problem. But the reality is, but in order to find solutions, first we need to recognise that we have a problem. They went out on day number 63 and they ran a marathon. On day number 64, they were joined by people from across Cape Town. On day number 65 and 66 and every day up until day 100. I run because I want to go to the front lines of the water crisis. I run because I want to go with my feet to the places where people are suffering from the problem and tell their story. I want to go to the places where people are working on the solutions and tell their story too. I want to show that there is not only hope for the future, but that we should be confident in our ability to create a different future.